more than two thirds of people do not want a referendum over the course of But it's of an important year. principle here. You stand in an election, you get, a, you get elected, you take power, you say you're going to man, uh, implement your manifesto. The SNP was clear in its manifesto. It wanted a second independence referendum. Well, the Do SNP, they have a mandate? Well, look, I'll, I'll give you another example. It's not for me to implement their mandate. For me, it's to stand for what I believe No, but it's a, princi it's so, a point so, of principle. So, 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 so of course, you've got your so, own views. But is it, is it not a point of principle? But, but let me, you stand let, for let me, election. But let me explain to you. So I don't support independence. I don't support a referendum. We stood on that basis in the election yeah. campaign. Take the example of if a Conservative Party stood in an election to say we're going to scrap the Department for Work and Pensions and they won a majority in that election, as horrific as it sounds, I wouldn't then be saying they have a mandate, they, have, they must scrap the Department for Work and Pensions. What I'd be saying well, is... If I, they stood and got I'd be, elected. I'd be standing for my own views saying I would think that's a mistake. Yeah, but that's fine. You, but you, would lo you lost. You lost this election. Yep. The SNP won it. With the Greens, they have a mandate. Well, they're You're denying their mandate. You're Mandates come from the electorate in an election. They don't come from pollsters. All John right. Curtis shouldn't decide when the next referendum is. It should be the people of Scotland that decide when the next referendum is. All right.